The interesting thing about scraps is that they're still alive. Even though we might get them at the supermarket and they come home in a bag and then they might be in the crisper saying, oh, let me out, let me out, I want to live again. You think, okay, we buy vegetables and then we chop them and then we eat them and then we throw the leftover bits out. But if you take a minute and say, all right, well, what could we have a go at propagating? And what's going to regrow? And where are the roots? Where do the roots regrow? And where does the, the plant reshoot from? So with all of these different examples, it gives you an idea of how you can make something come back to life, which is kind of cool. Because even though it's good to put it in the compost, it's also good to regrow it because something like this, you can regrow them and then cut them again and regrow them. They'll just keep going. So you never really have to buy them again. And, and the, the thing that I like is all you need is the piece of vegetable and a container. Takeaway container, could be just an old cup or a saucer. And the other ingredient is a bit of water. And then the key one, of course, is the sun. Or light. You need a little bit of light because you don't want them in the direct sunlight because they're quite tender and they're learning to grow again but you want them somewhere where they're going to get nice light, like coming in the window like that, even on the bench top would be enough because you've got, you know, if you've got skylights or any, any light coming in from a window, you can sit them in the containers there and they'll take the sunlight and slowly, I mean, because the, the thing you have to remember is these leaves are like solar panels. And as the leaves get bigger, they're drawing in more sun, as they draw in more sun, they grow more leaves. So it's like this, this feedback, you know, give me more sun and I'll grow bigger. So imagine you bring the veggies home from the markets or from the supermarket, wherever you got them, and this is how they arrive. Normally, we'll cut them off, throw that bit into the compost. Here's our chance to do it differently, okay? So here's this one. What I want you to do, there's a knife. Um, think about it like this, leave about two fingers wide. So show me two fingers. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So cut it off with about two fingers space. All right. And there's one, there's one for you too, Bear. Yeah, that's it. Beautiful. So the other thing you can do on, on ones like this, where there's really big roots so, so that they can actually stand up. If the, if the roots are too long, they won't stand up in your container. So I'd cut the roots down to maybe say three or four fingers. So trim those up a bit. You can do it with scissors. Just, just sort of trim it up neat. Yeah, perfect. So now you can get any, any little container like this, put some water in it, and then stand them up. See, and with the, with the roots not too long, they'll stand up nicely, and that way the shoot will come up straight. And when, when you transfer it into a pot, you don't have this wonky thing. It'll just go, you just drill a hole and so. So, you know, in this case, we can put them all in there and you'll start to see the little green center push up out of the middle. And that, that's the best part of it is it, you actually see the living part of the plant start to squirm its way towards the sunlight. When you understand what they need here, then when you put them out in the garden, then you've got another whole lot of things you've got to observe. Because the other thing I'd say to add is have your ruler and measure how much it's popped up after day one, zero. Day two, two millimetres. Day three, five millimetres. And, and that, way, that way you really start to understand the pace of growth, you know? Here we've got the leek and already you can see it's grown, it's grown 10 centimetres from where it was cut and all this is new. And, and the, the other thing is then start to draw it as well. Because look at the patterns. Look at this. And they're opposite. See? So there's these wonderful patterns in nature that, that repeat. But that's what's, that's what's really interesting about it. They're the sorts of things you can do. You know, the citizen scientist. Sure, and then when you put it in the ground, assess what happens there. And you become the... You become the the boss of your homegrown veggies from veggie scraps.